Joining me here in studio to talk a little bit about the upcoming FAFSA event for the Federal Student Aid application for students here in San Juan County and helping with San Juan College. Brandon Fiersick is here. He is part of the TRIO program here at San Juan College. Good morning. Welcome back to KSJE. Hello, everyone. Good to be back here. Thanks for having me, Scott. You bet. Good to have you here as well. You are part of the TRIO EOC program. Yep. So Ed just to make that clear. Educational Opportunity Center. Yep. Thank you. And so you've got an event coming up, uh, gosh, later on this month already. Yeah, yeah. So it's actually coming up relatively quickly. It's uh, more like a eight days away. Um, next Saturday, July 13th, we're having a mega FAFSA event for anyone in our community who wants to come to San Juan College to kind of help fill out their FAFSA, whether it's a parent, whether it's a student. Uh, FAFSA is just really important in terms of getting the financial aid that you need and the uh, resources that the uh, state government is providing currently, like the Opportunity Scholarship. And so we've partnered with the uh, New Mexico Educational or New Mexico Educational Assistance Foundation uh, to put on this mega FAFSA event we've been calling it to provide food, games, and fun activities for students and young ones to play while we assist the students or the parents to filling out the FAFSA. So. Um, they've separated this year as have they've actually released a better FAFSA form. Sorry, Scott, if you don't mind if I go into it. No, no, but you're going. You're great. But yeah. they've released the better FAFSA form, which kind of uh, is a different form. It has a lot more security. It's easier to get into and stuff like that, the access and stuff. But they've separated it to where the parent and the student need two separate accounts, right? And so the parent will actually have to fill out their own, make their own account with their own social security number, their own email, their own okay. phone, answer the security questions and everything like that. And so it, that's the longest part of the process. But once that's done, you get an invite via email, and then that's how you fill that out. And so we actually have quite a few, I think six or seven professionals coming on July 13th to help with the whole process. So if there's any questions that need to be answered or that are that are in the process, then we can help with that. And so good. Okay. And this is again from about 10 to 2? Yeah, 10 to 2 on July 13th, Saturday. And I'll be here at San Juan College. Yep, at San Juan College. Where are you going to be on campus? Oh, right here in uh, the courtyard in front of the Connie Gosh Theater. Okay. So it's an outdoor event. You mentioned you got food and other activities and things like that so folks can come and uh, at least get started on the form or could they get the form filled out you think well usually it takes if i when i work with students it takes about 45 minutes to get the form started to uh so we can definitely do it within that time period um and that's why we kind of brought on a team of people to come help facilitate the whole process so we can uh, kind of expedite it so we have a family here someone helping them a family here someone helping them and so hopefully it can be done within the hour got it okay very good and this form this FAFSA form, which I think folks have probably heard about, but if they haven't, I mean, it opens up a lot of doors, as you mentioned earlier. Definitely. If you get that form filled out, especially at this time of year, you can still get financial aid set up, I guess, to start school in the fall, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So it's the uh, FAFSA 2425, so that applies to the, uh, the fall, the spring, and next summer as well. Gotcha. Okay. And with the TRIO program and your program with the TRIO EOC program, what kind of services does, does TRIO EOC provide for students? So... The, the under the trio list. umbrella, <laughs> the, the trio umbrella. There's quite a few different things uh, that we provide. There's few, there's few different trio programs here at San Juan College, and the program I work for is the Educational Opportunity Center, which kind of bridges the gap between graduates, whether they're high school graduates uh, or GED graduates, and then we help transition that gap to also build that bridge to them to go on to get whether an associate's degree, a bachelor's degree and so on and so forth. And so what we do is just make it as easy as possible for people in our community to start or pursue their higher education goals, starting with career exploration, the financial aid forms, college applications, application waivers, um, and any other scholarships and resources that we need to help you succeed, whether it's food security or housing security. Nice, nice. And so for someone who's maybe new to coming to college, maybe they're the first in their family to go on to, to college, it can seem maybe a little daunting, especially maybe filling out a big form or not so big of a form like this FAFSA form. Definitely. That can be helpful too for these families, right? Oh, definitely, yes, because it's it's hard, especially for first-generation students, right? So I'm first-generation myself, and coming from that background, you don't really understand the resources or where to go, right? And so oftentimes you go here, and then you have to go here, and then you have to go here. 
But what Trio does is kind of brings that all, all of that to one space to where the student just has to come to us, right? And then we can really help bridge that gap to other resources and get them connected to, the, to where they need to be, especially for first-generation families who uh, have never had to experience college before. The student's coming for the first time. They don't have any siblings who've gone to school. And so all this is new to them, right? right and and right. it's daunting. And it's, it's quite frankly, it could be terrifying. You know, you're meeting new people. You're going to, you're paying to go here, right? And you're like, right. oh, am I making it worth it, you know? And so it really is important that TRIO here uh, and well, Samuel College in general, you know, but just TRIO helps people understand and succeed in, in the position that they are in college. Right. And that's really the job that you have is to help these folks succeed. Exactly. No matter whatever it takes. Right. And so, again, with this financial aid and some of the other things that are available, I guess, too, if you're not familiar with it, you may not know that you could get um, some grants or some um, opportunities and and things that could help pay for college and and make it less of a financial burden on your on your family or yourself. Oh, definitely. And touching on that for a minute, like this is why the FAFSA is so important, because the uh, financial aid office, whether it's here at Samuel College or any other school in the state, they can't process that and give you the opportunity scholarship and if you're not familiar with the opportunity scholarship the opportunity scholarship is a state funded uh grant which essentially covers your tuition up to almost up to a hundred pretty much up to a hundred percent of your tuition obviously there's circumstantials um but up to a hundred percent of your tuition for a bachelor's degree so they do cover up to 160 credit hours i believe so it gives you about a 40 credit leeway so there's some discovery there but Right now is the greatest time to go to school because the New Mexico state government is helping you do that, right? So they really want to help people return to higher ed or begin that process for adults who live in New Mexico. Um, and that's why the FAFSA is so important because they can't give you that without processing your financial aid application, which is, goes through the FAFSA form. That's that federal form. Even though it's a federal form, it's what the state requires for its opportunity scholarship in New exactly. Mexico. And that's a, a totally New Mexican thing, which I think is, is really cool that the state is offering that for Definitely. state residents to be able to go to school and, and, and pay for most of it, as you said, probably 90 Eight point nine percent of it, or something. <laughs> it pays right? for a lot of the tuition for sure. Yeah, and so I've seen that it covers students' tuitions up to a hundred percent, and so all they have to cover is housing and fees and books and transportation and stuff like that. And so that's where we come in is to kind of help you find those resources right. to succeed and to uh, bridge and build that gap. Very true. Now, again, you are part of Trio EOC, but there are other trios here on, on campus. So folks come on campus, they might see other Trio offices or meet other folks who work for different parts Definitely. of Trio as well. But you're all are kind of working together, right. and really your main mission is really to help these students succeed, no matter what it takes. Right, right. So Trio is a federally funded programs. All the all of them are federally funded. Uh, so we all come from a federal funded grant, mm-hmm. and so we work really closely together. Whether it's Trio Upward Bound, Trio EOC, or Trio SSS. Got you. And each one of those does different things. Yeah, each one does different things, but it all kind of caters to a similar interest, right? So it's just helping students succeed while they're in school, uh, college retention, um, applying them for school, getting them the financial aid forms done. So it's all connected, right? So TRIO helps students fill out the financial aid form. The financial aid form then goes back to the federal government, helps us get more funding to help more students, you know, and so really just helping students help Getting, getting them the resources that they need so they can succeed while they're in school. Right, right, very true. You're having this mega FAFSA event. It is coming up on Saturday, July 13th here at San Juan College from 10 until 2. Yep. Is there anything that folks should bring with them, any other documentation they need to have when, yes. they're, when they're here to, to fill this out? Yes, one of the most important things to bring is a functioning cell phone with a number you can text or email. Um, and then another most important thing to bring is your W-2 or your tax information from 2022 is what they're requesting. So, so currently they're looking at 2022. Um, and so bring any of those tax forms if you can. But one of the good things is that the IRS is also tied, federal government, right? So it's a federal form. So they can actually pull a lot of your uh, income information directly from the IRS. So using their using their resources and stuff like that. So it's not it's not... It's not the end of the world if you can't find those documents. There's off. There's ways around it, but definitely if you have them, have access to them, bring them, and it just makes it so much easier. We can get that process done. So. Great. Very good. And you said maybe 30, 45 minutes to uh, complete the form? Yeah, well, depending on if you have an account. If you have an account, it takes about 15 minutes to make an account. Okay. Um, so you got to answer those four security questions, uh, put in your phone number, get it verified, get the email verified. Sure. And sometimes the, the uh, service isn't the best up here <laughs> at the college, even though we're on a hill. It seems like it's not the greatest. But um, So just uh, be prepared to spend probably about an hour on the form. But that's kind of why we got the food, the snacks, the games, the fun, is to 
to kind of have the you can bring your whole family and we can make it a family event so yeah. that we can have a place for the kids to hang out so you can go get that form taken care of without having to stress you know right and so it'll, it'll be fun so come hang out with us and hang out the financial aid office and the trio departments here and uh cab and we'll have a lot of fun at samuel college there you go and this is a free event by the way too it's right free, completely free so july 13th saturday 10 to 2 all right excellent brandon thanks for coming in of course scott thank you thanks you for bet. having me good to talk with you that's brandon fiercely from the trio eoc program here at samuel college